Hello and welcome to another Divine Mercy for America Novena Holy Hour. Today is September 9th, Friday, September 9th, so the last day of our Novena uh, from the 1st to the 9th of September. And uh, we have uh, today Mr. Yves Jacques. And you can find us at Divine Mercy for America dot org click the membership tab get connected and we are dave and joan maroney yes so your mo mother of mercy you say it joan mother of mercy, mother messengers. Of mercy messengers. yes which is an official apostolate of the marian fathers of the immaculate conception based at the national shrine god bless the marian fathers all of our priests the national shrine of divine mercy in stockbridge massachusetts but dave and i actually live and operate and have for the last 23 years for the marian fathers from our home about an hour outside San Antonio, Texas, but we are uh, under the auspices of the Marian Fathers. One of our our regulars asked me the other day, "So, do you, are you affiliated with them?" We certainly are, and what a blessing it is it has been and continues to be. And uh, we are really blessed today here, uh, as you guys know, or most you know, at the top of the hour, we will be zooming over to Vilnius, Lithuania, for the Holy Hour. Um, where they have a perpetual adoration chapel with Jesus exposed in the monstrance. And uh, before we do that, though, we're going to hear from our friend, Mr. Yves Jacques, Jacques who uh, with Michael's, Michael's Journal, is that the right way to say it? Michael yeah, Journal? It's, it's, yeah, Michael Magazine or Michael's Michael Journal. Magazine. Yeah. Michael Magazine to talk to us today about consecration to the three hearts. Before we get started, we're going to ask Dave to lead us in a prayer of protection and guidance so we don't have any dif technical difficulties today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we want to do the will of your Father. And that's not always easy, Jesus, as you know. And so we come before you and uh, we profess our love for you and for your beautiful mother, the Immaculate One. And we ask, uh, dear mother, uh, your blessings, uh, your uh, intercession uh, for this meeting, this time together, that all will go well, and uh, that this uh, these discussions will, will draw people closer to the heart of your son. And uh, we thank you, dear mother, for your intercession. And we thank you, dear Jesus, for giving your life so that we may live. We love you. We adore the name of Jesus above all names. Jesus, we love you. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And I also want to thank St. Joseph because today we're going to be talking about all three, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Um, you know, our church is almost 2,100 years old. And over time, the Lord has just kind of spoon fed us different devotions, different things to help us through difficulties. Last month, when we had Eve's with us, we talked about the scapular as he's wearing, you know, the early Christians didn't have scapulars, right? It wasn't until it was given to St. Dominic. Is that right? Is it uh, St. Yeah, the scapular came from uh, St. Uh, Simon Stock. Simon, Simon Stock. Sorry, St. Simon Stock. Okay. So, and then, I mean, like, w here we are with Divine Mercy, the, these revelations and the graces through special prayers and devotions didn't come to us to the 1930s. And we keep evolving to Lord keep giving us more. And so now, Eve's this opportunity for us to really have devotion to the three hearts this is basically new in the church isn't it or is it something that's ancient i'm going to turn it over to you and let you explain it all thank you everyone for tuning in um yes the uh the devotion is uh has progressed in the last 200 years um there was many uh saints and blessed in the uh, 1800s uh, that had the devotion to uh, the chaste heart of St. Joseph. And uh, prior to that, the development of the uh, devotion to St. Joseph really took off in the, in the 17th uh, century. Uh, there was, um, uh, you had uh, St. Louis de Montfort. He uh, uh, composed the Hail Joseph prayer, which is, the, uh, is, is similar to the Hail Mary, but it's, uh, it's to give honor to the to the uh, uh, foster father of, of Jesus, the virginal father of Jesus. And um, in, the, in the past uh, 50 to 60 years, I would say uh, 60 years ago, uh, Our Lady appeared uh, to Sister Mildred Nuzel 
um, in, 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 uh, in 1958, um, St. Joseph appeared. And um, that was uh, the first time here in the United States that uh, the pure heart of St. Joseph was exposed to the world uh, in the United States, um, where St. Joseph asked that she, he be honored in his pure and chaste heart, and that the, the first Wednesday of the month would be dedicated to the, the pure heart of St. Joseph. So that was uh, Our Lady of America. So I think some of you are already familiar with Our Lady of America. 40 years to this, in the same month, 40 years later, um, St. Joseph appeared along with the Blessed Virgin Mary and the, and the child Jesus. And there um, in the Amazons in Brazil to, to a visionary called uh, Etzin Glauber, uh, there was a, um, a message. And at, in the, the message, um, our Lord and the Blessed Virgin Mary wanted us to honor the chaste heart of St. Joseph. And it's at that point that the heart of uh, St. Joseph was uh, uh, exposed uh, for everyone to see with the M and the cross on his heart. And that is considered a wound. And uh, the, the amazing thing is that the two, uh, the two visionaries, uh, when I talked to, to Edson about the Our Lady of America, he knew nothing about Our Lady of America. Uh, however, however the, the, the messages were very, very similar. Um, uh, the, the power and the, the special intercession of St. Joseph uh, in our times. So going back uh, again uh, to the uh, 1800s, um, you had several saints, um, and blessed that uh, were promoting the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Congregation of the Holy Cross in, in um, uh, St. Blessed Basil Moro uh, wanted his uh, community to be dedicated to the three hearts. And so he wanted the priest to be uh, consecrated totally to, to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. He wanted his nuns to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sorrowful Heart of Mary sorrowful heart as well. And he wanted all the brothers to be um, uh, consecrated to the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Uh, guess uh, who uh, was in that congregation? Well, Brother Andre, Brother St. Andre of Montreal was part of the congregation of the Holy Cross. So he would have been consecrated in a special way to the chaste heart of St. Joseph. So, um, Again, uh, there's so many things that we could talk about. I, I know I'm limited in time, so I have to kind of uh, focus on the things that are important. So this devotion, now it's taken off. Uh, you have uh, Father Donald Calloway with his book uh, on the consecration of St. Joseph. It's a sublime work. Um, but the, uh, it's, just, it's just the beginning. Now, I've been promoting the devotion to the three hearts since um, 2004. Um, I was aware of Our Lady of America, but I had not, it had, it, it, I needed uh, a, a more help. And that's when I met Edson Glauber, the visionary in, in Quito, uh, Ecuador. Uh, I was at, um, at the shrine of Our Lady of Good Success. And uh, we met there at Our Lady of Good Success. And he introduced me to the, to the devotion to the three hearts. And uh, from that point on, he, I, I wear the, the, the scapular of the three hearts on me. So this um, devotion that was, that was uh, introduced to Edson um, had favorable, um, um, was in, the, 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 the local bishop was in favor of his messages. So, so from uh, 1994 to uh, 2016, the bishop was totally on board with, with, um, with uh, the visionary and the message of the three hearts. And he was the greatest promoter. Very similar to uh, Our Lady of America where uh, Archbishop Liebald was uh, the, the one who spearhead, spearheaded the devotion to Our Lady of America 
and uh, also the Chase Heart of St. Joseph because that was part of the, the message. So um, what happened, uh, like it, Our Lady of America, uh, Bishop Liebold uh, passed away in, in uh, 1973 and uh, the new bishop uh, didn't want to have anything to do with the message and it kind of uh, uh, the on the ecclesial side the the messages were not uh, promoted and that happened also in uh, in brazil so the uh, uh, bishop carlos Guiti passed away suddenly uh, mysteriously and uh, and so the messages uh, have uh, have not been promoted by the new the, the new bishop um, but these are uh, details. When we do the holy work of God, uh, there's going to be persecution. But you judge things by their fruits. And um, one of the, the messages that Edson had received was uh, the promotion of the uh, um, Holy Cloak Novena. And the Holy Cloak Novena is, uh, our, la our Lady said that, that this Novena, uh, you would become property of, of St. Joseph. And uh, as well, uh, the, the scapular gave that same, a uh, very similar message as well. So um, I don't know if anyone who's uh, aware, but I, I promoted this on one of my programs, uh, The Hearts of the Holy Family that I have uh, on TV. And it's also on YouTube through Berea Vision USA. Um, this uh, novena, when uh, it, it was promoted, and, and uh, there were so many miracles that accompanied uh, the holy work of St. Joseph. Um, thousands of people um, uh, received special graces, but I, there were some people that were cured uh, by, uh, that had cancer, uh, marriages that were uh, put back together through the help of St. Joseph. This is the time of St. Joseph and um, one of the things that I, I, I want to share uh, with people, one of the great promoters of, uh, of the chaplet of St. Joseph, that uh, this woman, um, she has a prayer group in San Francisco, California, and she's been promoting uh, the chaplet of St. Joseph and also making them. And, um, and just a few months ago, uh, she, she called me. She says, well, you won't believe this, Eve. But um, the image of uh, St. Joseph in my house is exuding oil. I'm just gonna show, you, show it to you right now for those uh, in order to see. This image here was a picture that she sent to me. And if you uh, recognize the picture, it's actually the image of the cover of the book of Father Donald Calway. And you could actually see, if you could look a little closer, you could see th the back of the image is actually the act of consecration to, to St. Joseph. So this is, <laughs> here you have this image um, and it's been exuding for, for, for months now. Um, again, these are signs um, that God permits to, to, to kind of uh, help us continue um, the work and help us um, bring uh, people closer to the, to the three hearts. And why the three hearts? Um, you know, we know that St. Saint, Saint, Saint Joseph is the, the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Uh, so it's, they're united. They're, they're united in, in their hearts. Like when you say somebody, I, I love you with all my heart, it, that means a lot more than say, I love you. And uh, St. Joseph is loving you with all his heart. He's actually exposing his heart. For you so the lord jesus his heart is divine so he's both god and man so he it's the divine heart the sacred heart of jesus is divine our lady's heart is immaculate that means no sin in her her heart is immaculate however saint joseph the graces that are our, our lady um it, is uh, promoting through saint joseph is that we could live a chaste heart we need to imitate the chaste heart of St. Joseph. And that's one of the promises of those who promote the chaste heart devotion is that uh, you will uh, obtain purity in your own home. There's, um, um, there's 10 promises, and I'm not going to read them all because it could be uh, a little long, 
but the, the first promise is that those who uh, do good deeds and help the sick, that they will, uh, that they would be comforted and protected by St. Joseph. Um, the second promise is holy purity, body and soul, and to, to be, to overcome all temptations. So that's the second, the second promise. But not only for them, but for their family as well. So if you have a devotion to the, the chaste heart of St. Joseph, uh, it, it's extended to your family, the, the grace of purity. So we need to start right now because we, we know so many of our families that are, um, that are lacking in that. And the third promise is that uh, the most uh, difficult problems that you have uh, uh, that to resolve that our, the St. Joseph would be there to, to protect you and to, to resolve the problem. And we know that uh, uh, when we call on St. Joseph, I, I, this is something through this devotion, and I'm not going to read the others because it's, it, I think the one on purity really hits home for me um, because I've been wearing this capital since, uh, um, since 2004. And uh, it has been a, a, a holy helper for me to um, uh, to uh, to to um, uh, live a life uh, a greater life of chastity with with the help of Saint Joseph. And um, but again, uh, as far as Saint Joseph, we need to spread the devotion. And sometimes it's a very uh, you don't have to say all what I just said. All you just say, I'll pray to St. Joseph for you. And people will come back to me, can you pray to St. Joseph for this as well? And because what happened is when we invoke St. Joseph, St. Joseph is busy uh, doing the Lord's work. And, and through his work, many people are coming, uh, coming back and they're seeing. Um, so we need to be like his apostle. Um, that's why I, I think of like Brother Andre, for instance, um, he, he, just humble work, you know, totally consecrated to Our Lady, to, totally consecrated to, to our Lord, but he would go to St. Joseph for, for all his material and uh, uh, spiritual needs that the people would ask him for. Um, I, uh, I just want to make a, 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 um, a plea to you. Uh, if you uh, want material uh, to spread the devotion to St. Joseph, because I do have the chaplet of St. Joseph. And one of the things I do want to say before uh, ending is the, the consecration prayer to, Saint, uh, to, to the three hearts. I think it's important because it's, uh, it just, it's just so simple. And that's something that you can memorize and just say over and over again, just like, Jesus, I trust in you, it's uh, almost that simple. And um, it, we do have the, the booklet on the Holy Cloak Novena. Uh, we have the chaplet of St. Joseph and the scapular of St. Joseph. We do have these scapulars uh, available as well. Um, and I know the people that have worn it and are continuing to, to wear it, um, it's helped them, especially the young people. And this is a, the, the other thing uh, Our Lady uh, said that those who wear the scapular of St. Joseph, uh, for especially the young people, that they would be, uh, have a special protection of, um, in, for purity and chastity in their life. So, I mean, this is just a, a, a few things. I'm just going to, to, to read right now the, uh, the consecration prayer. You could follow with me. It's very, very simple. And you could do the sign of the cross when uh, when I say it as well. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, and chaste heart of Saint Joseph, I consecrate to you this day my mind, and you make the sign of the cross on your forehead, my words on your lips, my body, the, you make a sign of the cross, through your whole body, my heart, so on the left side, and my soul, so that your will be done through me this day. So I'll just repeat it because I interrupted with the signs of the cross. Uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, 
Immaculate Heart of Mary, and Chaste Heart of St. Joseph, I consecrate to you this day my mind, my words, my body, my heart, and my soul, so that your will be done through me this day. Amen. And then I'm just going to, to, to end with the uh, Hail Joseph. Now, uh, some people are not aware of the, the prayer. Now, a lot of these revelations that have been given to, to Edson and to Sister Mildred, it's not something new. It's like the Divine Mercy um, devotion. It's something that's always been there, but you need uh, uh, prophets of our time to point out the reality for the times that we're living in. Um, the Hail Joseph prayer that Edson was given to, to, to spread uh, was formulated by uh, St. Louis de Montfort. The seven joys and seven sorrows of the, to meditate on the, on the mysteries of, uh, of the chaplet of St. Joseph are uh, the seven joys and seven sorrows that we, that's been established in the church for, for many, many years now, um, probably hundreds of years. So the mysteries are, is uh, um, the pregnancy of the, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the, that's the first. The second is the, uh, uh, it's the birth of our Lord. The third is the circumcision of Jesus. Uh, the other one is the prophecy of Simeon, which is the, uh, uh, the um, presentation of Jesus at the temple. The uh, fifth is the flight into Egypt. The sixth is the return from Egypt. And the, the, the last one is the finding of Jesus in the temple. So you see that some of the mysteries overlap uh, the, the, uh, the mysteries of the rosary, um, but um, it helps us focus. So can you imagine, you know, you have the Holy Family, uh, their hearts were completely united. You have all of it, you had all of heaven uh, with them. When you meditate on the mysteries of, uh, the chaplet of St. Joseph or the mysteries of the rosary, you put yourself uh, present in, with them. And uh, you see uh, in meditating with the Hail Joseph, you, you meditate on the, that reality of uh, his role in the salvation history, which it, it's only been a couple hundred years that uh, we've been paying attention, but all the more in the past few years, I think, especially with the uh, the year of St. Joseph and so on. So let's say, uh, I'm going to say the prayer uh, of uh, the Hail Joseph so that you could uh, appreciate it. And then we'll, uh, we'll end with that. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Joseph, son of David, the just and the chaste. Wisdom is with you. Blessed are you among all men and blessed is Jesus, the fruit of Mary, your face the faithful spouse. Holy Joseph, worthy foster father and guardian of Jesus Christ and of the Holy Church, pray for us sinners and obtain uh, for us, pray for us sinners and obtain divine wisdom for us uh, from God now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Wow. A uh, quick question on that. So on the chaplet, uh, that prayer, the hail, the hail Joseph prayer, how many times do you say that? Um, um, you, you, you say that, I think there's uh, there's seven decades. So that's 70, 73. It's, a, it's fairly long. And, and the, the visionary uh, is it's recommended to say it um, on the first Wednesday of the month. Okay. The first Wednesday of the month is that uh, is when the Hail Joseph would be said, and um, nice. Yeah, it's a, uh, and when you 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 think of it, the M and the cross, both visionaries saw the M and the cross. If you see the image of Our Lady uh, to Edson, uh, you, Saint Joseph has an M and the cross on his uh, on, in his heart, and it, it's it's interesting because. That was the, the same image uh, that uh, Sister Mildred uh, had. Wow. And the, the other one, um, I don't know if you're, those who are 
familiar with the family uh, apostolate in, um, Ohio. in Ohio. Yes, uh, they have a beautiful image of St. Joseph and he has, uh, um, he has the cross and the M too. So somebody definitely had an inspiration there as well. Maybe it came from Our Lady of America, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but that's a, one of the famous images of the Holy Family that they have. Uh, and and the booklet on the cloak, the, it's a funny thing. A week or two ago, I got a phone call from um, a former pastor. And uh, he's, he said, I'm looking for this book, this prayer, the cloak of St. Joseph. I think I got it from you. And I'm like, I've never heard of that father. And he was so disappointed. He goes, well, I don't know where I got this, but I'm, he's retired priest now, but he's busier than ever because, you know, going to all these different churches and filling in and everything. And he goes, and I will give those away. And today I just had his number and I, I just put it in my context. It was on a little piece of paper. And I thought, you know, I might need to get a hold of him. And so I just, and now you show me this booklet. I can't wait to call him up and tell him my friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, it's a, those, uh, and I know it's, it's coming from many sources because St. Joseph is, uh, he's uh, talking to a lot of people and uh, inspiring a lot of people in the same direction. Yeah. And uh, so I had first heard of the Holy Cloak from Edson Glauber, the visionary from Brazil. And, and he told me, he says, Eve, you need to do this uh, consecration, this uh, novena, the 30 day novena to, to St. Joseph. And uh, he says, at the end of the uh, novena, you, you'll be a property uh, of St. Joseph. Oh, wow. And uh, I, feel, I feel a great protection of St. Joseph. Now, I, I just want to let the people know, uh, one of the things is, uh, since I was a, ch a child, my, my, uh, I, I was baptized in the parish of, of the Holy Family. And my parents used to say that this beautiful prayer, um, uh, just before going to, to bed, it, uh, Jesus, uh, long live Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And in French, it sounds like, vive Jesus, Marie, Joseph. Well, it sounds a lot like Eve. So uh, I, I said that to my mom. I said, Mom, I am so fortunate that my name is along with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, but that's what our, it came to me that that's what Our Lady wants all of us to be with. She wants, he, they, the Holy Family wants us to be part of the family. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I told that to, to Edson. And Edson, he says, Edson told me, he says, Eve, you've been, chosen a long time ago by saint joseph oh, and i believe yeah. so because it's uh it's a uh, it, it all these things fell in in my hands i didn't know edson i met him through a pilgrimage and um uh, same thing with our lady of america uh, you know it, it, things fell into my hands uh, in different different times um, and it's always pointed to saint joseph and, you know, my family, the devotion to St. Andre in Montreal, you know, one of my mom's cousins was cured through the intercession of St. Joseph. Um, uh, tuberculosis uh, back many, many years ago, maybe 100 years ago. Because wow. most of the miracles that Brother Andre uh, were, uh, were given through St. Joseph was 100 years ago. It was in the 19, 1910, 1920. He died in 19... Uh, uh, 1937 so um mm -hmm. you know he was like i say they, these are precursors for the times that we're living in they're yeah. counting on us <laughs> they're counting on us to continue the work exactly you know? well thank you for sharing it with us and i know uh, we've got such a great group here that they will embrace this and help spread it and we'll come back uh after the holy hour to find out uh details on how to get some of those materials from you eves so now yeah. let's let's uh, let's go to the Lord, uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Body, Blood, Soul, and Divinity, hidden in the monstrance in in the Holy Eucharist, the monstrance in the chapel in Vilnius. Dave's trying to get to it. There it is. There we go, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another novena. We come together praying for our nation, our nations, 
praying for the world the way you told St. Faustina to do so. And we're blessed to be able to respond. We're thankful for this chapel that we can go to where the original painting of the Divine Mercy is on display so that not only that we gaze upon you in the Eucharist and try to fathom your presence there, but we can look at your image, you and your humanity, uh, with those rays coming out representing the life, the life of the church through the, through the sacraments and your love and your mercy. And so with this, we'll make the uh, act of spiritual communion because our St. Faustina was told to receive Holy Communion for nine days for her nation. And so in lieu of that, we will make this act of spiritual communion. And Eves, will you go ahead and... Can you see that on your screen? Eve? Yes, yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. All right. So from here, we'll have the recitation of the Holy Rosary. Eves is going to be leading us today. So go ahead, Mr. Jacques. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day, rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. And in meditating upon this mystery of the agony, let us um, include Saint Joseph and the sorrow that he had in his heart, knowing that he would not be there um, for, the, the, uh, for the 
the crucifixion of our Lord. So he bore the cross, the wound in his heart. Let's ask uh, St. Joseph to go deeper into the mysteries of the agony in the garden. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, mm -hmm. but deliver us from evil. Amen. And hey, Weezy, are you there? Yes, I'm yes. here. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, uh, she'll respond. Yeah. Okay, hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is discouraging at the pillar. 
us think of the humble and meek heart of Jesus. The same heart that was in the arms of St. Joseph, consoling him, loving him. Now he's, his flesh is being torn and scourged because he loves us. Let us ask St. Joseph that gift of loving the heart of Jesus, loving him as we ought. O sacrament, O holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning of thorns. Let us meditate on the crowning of thorns and what the sin of pride and, and the haughtiness of our times and uh, the gentleness and the kindness and the caressing 
of Saint Joseph on the head of Saint Joseph of uh, our Lord. Um, let us ask Saint Joseph to uh, give us a greater love for the for our Lord, and um, so that, that we could relieve um, and 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 bring uh, people away from the sins of pride. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, O woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. As for patience and all our crosses, let us meditate on this mystery of how the road, the road of our Lord, the world to the cross, and how St. Joseph brought him to, to, to his road, 
his road to, to Egypt, the suffering that St. Joseph endured, the sorrow that he had for, for this tribulation. Um, let us, with St. Joseph, console our Lord on his way to Calvary, knowing that it's for our sins that he has he had done this. We ask for the gift of perseverance. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord on the cross. Let us meditate on this reality of the sorrow of uh, St. Joseph, knowing that his son would be crucified. It's through revelation and through this, these images of the chaste heart of St. Joseph, we have the, the wound of the cross 
in his heart. And that wound was realized at the, the crucifixion. He was, St. Joseph wasn't there um, physically, but he was there spiritually. So let's ask St. Joseph to console the hearts of Jesus and Mary. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Then the most gracious advocate thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God have been made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. 
grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary okay. of the blessed virgin mary we may imitate with the contain taint with the promise through the same christ our lord amen thank you thank you Eve. thank you everybody uh, now we will do the prayer to saint joseph composed by leo the 13th or the uh, prayer to pray at the end of the holy rosary we'll be putting that on the screen prayer to saint joseph to you O blessed joseph do we come in our tribulation and having implored the help of the, your most holy spouse we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance in which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. Most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O oh, most loving Father, ward off from, uh, from every contingent of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from a deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. All right. The power of the saints, as he's been sharing power to devotion to saint joseph chaste heart of saint joseph our lord instructed saint faustina to call upon the saints of heaven and so uh to pray a novena of the litany of the saints and that's what we'll do ease is going to help us with the first half and then for the second half um what is it i can't read my writing Diane. Diane. Yeah. Diane. That's right. That's right. Okay. So we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. John. Pray for us. St. Thomas. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. Philip. Pray for us. 
Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Intercede for us. And now Diane will respond. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness and fornification. fornication. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. And by your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. All right. So now we'll move on to the beautiful Divine Mercy Novena and Chaplet. And today, uh, Fawn will be doing the opening prayers. Thank you, Fawn. I don't see Fawn on the list. She was having some connection difficulties. Um, that's true. Yesterday she was. Okay. Mary Jane, I see you've got your pamphlet. Do you want to go ahead and do the opening prayers? Today, bring to me souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of thy mercy. Most compassionate Jesus, you are compassion itself. I bring lukewarm souls into the abode of your most compassionate heart. In this fire of your pure love, let these tepid souls, who like corpses, filled you with such deep loathing, be once again set aflame. O most compassionate Jesus, exercise the omnipotence of your mercy and draw them into the very ardor of your love and bestow upon them the gift of holy love, for nothing is beyond your power. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon lukewarm souls who are nevertheless enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Father of mercy, I beg you by the bitter passion of your son and by his three-hour agony on the cross, let them too glorify the abyss of your mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Pater Eterna, offero tibi corpus et sanguinam, Animam et divinitatem, delectissimi fili tui, Domini nostri, Jesu Christi, in propitiatione pro peccatis nostris et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Pro dolorosa eios passione, miserere nobis et totius mundi. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. Holy, Holy mighty one. one. Holy, Holy immortal one. one. Have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, Jesus I, I trust, trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Louise. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we adore your majesty and acknowledge your supreme eternal dominion and authority. Most Holy Trinity, we place the United States of America into the hands of Mary Immaculate in order that she may present the country to you. Through the intercession of Mary, have mercy on the Catholic Church in America. Have mercy on our president and on all the officers of our government. Protect family life in our nation Grant the precious gift of many vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Have mercy on the sick, the poor, the tempted, and all who are in need. Mary, Immaculate Virgin, our mother, patroness of our land, we honor you and ask your maternal protection and care for us. Obtain for us the graces we need to live and die according to the will of your divine son. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So, Eves, will you sing the Tonto Mergo for us? Tonto Mergo Sacramento Venere Morcelui Et anticum documentum, no voce da tritui, 
Prese fide suplementu, sensum defectu in. Genitori, genitoque, la setio bilasio. Salus ono vertus copue, sed e benedictio. Procedenti avut copue, compasit laudatio. Beautiful. Thank you so much. We love you, Jesus. Jesus, you. King of the universe. We so love nice. you. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Fawn, I'm sorry. We couldn't hear you. I, I Hey, it goes for this week. has just been... I didn't see your, your name on the... No, I don't I have... See. Oh, she's on her phone. Are you on your phone now? I yeah, see. she's on her phone. That's why we didn't see it under her name. Okay. Oh. All righty. Well, uh, Eve, thank you so much. Uh, we we love Saint. That's Dave's patron. That's his confirmation. And when he came into the church. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. He married me. I had three small children, and he came in and was a great stepdad, father. He's the best papa in the world, and so. Uh, <laughs> St. Joseph was the perfect patron for him, and he's really looked out for our family, that's for sure. So, Eves, you want to share uh, anything else that you weren't able to? We've got a few minutes, and then, uh, uh, very importantly, how people can get some of those materials you spoke about. Yes, well, um, there's uh, plenty of material available. Um, I, I do recommend that um, the people get the Holy Cloak Novena and start praying it and maybe even spread it with your, your family, get other people to pray it because this has been a very powerful um, message. Uh, and uh, it's a very powerful prayer. And it really makes you think is that you, when you read uh, the, the Novena, you just say, well, this St. Joseph is so powerful. You know, you think of Joseph of the Old Testament you know, he was in charge of the granaries of the world. And uh, St. Joseph is in, in, was in charge, was in charge of the uh, queen of heaven and, and the, 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 the king of, of the universe. Um, this is, uh, you know, how powerful his work is. Uh, we do have uh, one thing that I do want to mention is the, uh, there's this beautiful prayer. Um, it's the, the ancient prayer of St. Joseph. Um, that was composed uh, in the 50th cent uh, year of our Lord. So oh, oh. Oh, almost 2000 years ago. Oh. And uh, this prayer, the promise is those who, who pray this prayer or just carry it on them, that they would be preserved from fire, from drowning and uh, uh, from perishing in battle. And I have so many t testimonies of people uh, that carried them on uh, them during the, the war. And I don't know uh, about you, but, you know, there's many rumors that there will, there, we're in the midst of the Third World War. So I do encourage people to get these uh, prayer cards or uh, even just, you know, writing down the prayer and keep it in your pocket. There's a promise for those who um, keep it on them. And uh, if you're not familiar with the prayer, it's one that I say, I've been saying for 25 years now, um, is the, the prayer to St. Joseph. Uh, o St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O St. Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus to sleep in your arms. I dare not approach him while he poses near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. 
and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departed souls, pray for us. So this is something that you could, um, that uh, we have uh, available along with the, uh, the chaplet of uh, St. Joseph. So these are seven decade uh, chaplets that we have available. And uh, also we have the, the scapular of, uh, of the St. Joseph available as well. And these are, these are just helpers that I think, um, you know, we need, we, we need to, to have these heavenly protections. Um, I, I have priests that order scapulars. I have uh, uh, seminarians and the reason why is they need, they feel the, the, the extra protection of St. Joseph. And also we have this prayer card, which it has the, the basic prayers of, of, of St. Joseph that you could, uh, and these could be spread uh, as well. And um, before I forget, there's uh, the book, I had mentioned the book uh, the last time, uh, the works of the of uh, the three hearts, the St. Joseph. And this is like a, a very good resource because it also has how to pray the rosary, the um, um, meditations on the, the, the rosary, uh, the chapel of, of St. Joseph, along with a lot of the prophecies. She, Our, La Our Lady did say to Edson Glauber, because this book is based on his revelations. One of the revelations is that St. Joseph, uh, through his intercession, that there would be a great catastrophe that would be averted through his intercession. Um, so again, uh, that's why we need uh, his help. Uh, right now we're, we're in a, in the time of tribulation and uh, St. Joseph is the one um, that takes care of our spirit, uh, our uh, physical needs. So anything that has to do with uh, preparing ourselves for the end times, St. Joseph has to be part of that. So how do they, uh, do they call you? Do you have a website for that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the information is on uh, the website heartsoftheholyfamily.org. Um, or they could call me on my um, landline for the Pilgrims of St. Michael, which is 413-204-7133. That's my cell phone number. The, uh, the office number is 413-397-1111. Um, so that's uh, the number that you could order some of this material. Uh, I have a lot of, of uh, material also. I have a lot of the Novena uh, booklets. Uh, I, this book is available. I have these uh, books available. I also have this, the image of the three hearts, which is one of the, um, in the prophecies of uh, Edson, they said that this would be a special protection uh, for those who have the image in their homes. And, you know, there's many, uh, you know, these are private revelations. We understand that. But if they help us stay focused on the, on uh, the, the task at hand, you know, the, the tribulation that uh, St. Joseph had to go through uh, to go to Egypt, you know, to provide for, for his family. And we're part of his family. And that's why he's, uh, he's there to provide for us. He's the one, uh, provide for our needs. As long as we're doing our share, um, I believe that St. Joseph is going to be a powerful uh, in, uh, intercessor. Just like Joseph of the Old Testament was in charge of the granaries, uh, St. Joseph is all the more powerful than the, Saint, uh, Saint, than the Joseph of the Old Testament. You know, and I, to recall also that on October 13th, with we're getting ready for that anniversary, right? Who appeared yeah. with Our Lady, you know, for the that last apparition, dun, 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 she came with Joseph. Yeah, yeah. well, again, it's, a, it's almost like this, uh, uh, 105 years ago, um, it's going to be 105 years this year, right. um, St. Joseph, uh, had a role to play. And if you notice, it was in the time uh, that the, 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 the sun was spinning in the, in the sky, um, St. Joseph was, uh, the vision of St. Joseph was happening 
uh, at the same time. And St. Joseph blessed the world. He, he blessed the world along with Jesus in his arms. So they both blessed the world. Uh, so we need um, St. Joseph. So again, um, and then so many more apparitions afterwards uh, and, and holy men like Brother Andre, Brother Andre, that was after the, uh, uh, the, the miracle of, uh, uh, of the sun. It was in, he, his miracles through St. Joseph was till, till 1937 uh, when he passed away. And, you know, St. Andre is, a, is one of the great uh, saints of, uh, of North America. You know, he, he spent some time in the United States. He, he lived in Canada. But he uh, he actually lived in the mills, mill towns of uh, of, uh, New, uh, of uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Oh, wow! Hey, Eve. So I've got a, a question. Um, a couple of people have asked. Uh, I'm going to go with Rita Vitali. Rita, thank you. That uh, chaplet that she did was in Latin. We were talking about that the other day. I thought maybe it was Italian. <laughs> Uh, he did such a beautiful job. Did you know that was Latin? It was great. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. But uh, she asks, um, what do we do with very old used torn scapulars? Well, um, I believe they're supposed to bury them or, or burn them. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, any sacramental, you're so, they're supposed to be buried. They're not supposed to be thrown in the trash. You never, never throw anything in the trash, but you, if you, uh, I would put them in the four corners of your, uh, of your property or, oh. you know, bury them there so that that sacramental will be a blessing uh, for your property. That's a good idea. Same thing she said with the uh, tarnished metals, same thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those, those things, uh, you sh they should never, uh, never be discarded. Uh, you know what? There's some you're going to bury it somewhere and somebody's going to find it. It'll be their conversion. Wow. <laughs> That'd be something. Someone go look. You know, you know, this is, there's a lady that I, I know. Um, she was the Lutheran and she, she told me that she found a miraculous metal on the beach buried in, uh, in the sand. And uh, within a year she became a Catholic. Oh my gosh. She, she treasured the, 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 the metal. You know, the, the sacramentals, it's the blessing that's uh, accompanying it, right? Mm -hmm. Our lady's working, you know, I give, I give scapulars to, uh, I mean, uh, miraculous medals to, to anyone. I don't care if they're, uh, I just say I have a gift for you. You know, if you, I don't know if some, some people might know the story of Zachary King. Mm -hmm. um, he was a, a Satanist that, uh, you know, uh, this devout lady just put a miraculous medal in his hands. And he had a conversion experience at that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful. And we don't take advantage. So many people don't take advantage. They don't have anything blessed on them. You know, they've never blessed their homes. You know, it's really a foolish not to. Um, but well, I, I'll tell you, uh, the sacramentals are very, very powerful <laughs> because you're, you're, it's the, the blessing of the church, you know, and they're, they remind us as well, uh, but they have power. They're, they're powerful. And so we need to just, uh, you know, take advantage of that. You know, don't be afraid to, to share your faith with others and, and realize one, one, I'll just give you a little story of St. Joseph. I was at the, I was at Walt Disney uh, World in the, and, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Walt Disney, but I was there with my kids at the time. And, uh, and I, you know, looked up to the heavens and I, I said, Lord, what am I doing here? <laughs> and uh, sure enough, the, uh, a lady just came and was next to me. They were, the, they were ready for the getting ready for the fireworks. And we started talking. You know, she saw my medal. I had a medal, miraculous medal and I had a medal of St. Joseph. And um, so uh, um, started talking and she says, well, I started talking about my family and, you know, the, the importance of family. And she says, oh, I'd love to have children. But the doctor says it's impossible for me to have a child. So I took the St. Joseph that I had on me and, and I put it on her chain that she was wearing around her neck. 
And within, um, within a month, she sent me a, a note saying that you won't believe this, but I'm pregnant. So uh, this is, uh, you know, St. Joseph's intercession, right? Wow. So it's, a, it's important to just realize that St. Joseph has a lot more to give us. And uh, in, in my own life, um, I know that St. Joseph is, is, is guiding me. Um, he's such a gentle uh, father, you know, and, you know, God is giving him a lot of work today yeah. in this, uh, in the time of tribulation. And he's waiting for us, just like the Blessed Mother, you know, the, the miraculous medal, that all those graces that people don't ask. You know, it's the same thing with St. Joseph right now. We need to, uh, we need to ask him and don't, uh, he, he's not, the, he's, don't worry if you're going to wear him out. Right. He's, uh, he, he is uh, awesome and he's there to, to, to help your family. You know, there's people that, uh, when I was doing that the Holy Cloak Novena with that group, um, that um, there, was a, there was a whole litany of uh, people that uh, had um, their answers prayer, the, the prayers answered. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So uh, let's see what other couple questions. Uh, one, I want to go back to the very beginning. Um, who was it? Uh, Gloria Del Rosario had asked. Um, about the picture, the oozing, the oil, the picture, the icon of St. Joseph, she wanted to know was, did, did the, is that just made like they, she took a copy of the front of father's book or, and then put the, the, uh, it's a, it's the just consecration a, a, a on the back. It's just a paper image that she, uh, she must've had the put icon. In a, a plastic frame. She put it in a plastic frame and it started exuding oil. So now the the words you could actually see the words yeah. uh, in, of the back. That's the back of the the image. You have the consecration of Saint Joseph. Isn't that a sign of, you know, uh, oil is always a, a sign of unction, right? It's a sign of graces that to be to be had, right? Yeah. You know, we anoint the sick. We, uh, um, you know, it's always a, a, a it's blessings that were that are uh, being poured out mm -hmm. so um you know it's all i think it's a sign um the first of all that that group are great devotees to saint joseph mm -hmm. and they do uh, they actually make chaplets of saint joseph and give them out mm -hmm. so this is a, a sign of you know graces that are to be had and what a place in San Francisco. I, mean, I know. Wow. Yeah, right in the center of Sin City, you could say. Or, you yeah, know, yeah, definitely. Okay, another question. Um, Charlene asks, does Eve celebrate St. Joseph's Day on March 19th? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, according to the revelation that was given to Edson, uh, that would have been the day that he, that he passed away. Uh, he he died on the March nineteenth, so it's a, a fitting feast of the uh, you know Saint uh, Saint um, uh, Joseph, and according to Edson, also he assumed into heaven, um, and um, and that's not a, a revelation that it was only given to him. Uh, Saint Francis de Sales was a a, a great believer that. Uh, the Saint Joseph uh, uh, assumed into heaven. That's why the only reason why we could honor his heart is that his heart is alive. You know, um, because we don't honor anybody else's heart because, uh, you know, until the resurrection of the body, our hearts are not here with us uh, now uh, once we die. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so the chaste heart of Saint Joseph is something that's honored because he's in heaven. Yeah. Wow. And that, the belief is that, that in the in the Bible it says that the, when Jesus died on the cross, uh, the, the, uh, the many people uh, rose from the, uh, the the tomb, and uh, so that was uh, it's also biblical. In other words, yeah, yeah, high yeah. belief that uh, Saint Saint Joseph. Was born, uh, right. Okay. Another question. Um, um, 
Have you ever heard of St. Joseph oil? This is from Gloria again. She thinks the priest can make the oil uh, by reciting a blessing from St. Andre Bisset. And he distributes little vials with a special prayer. I think this priest got the blessing and prayer from St. Joseph's shrine in Canada. Yes, well, the St. Joseph oil, um, it's a tradition uh, that started with Brother Andre because Brother Andre would uh, have some St. Joseph oil. It was uh, candles that were burning in front of the statue, the miraculous statue of St. Joseph in Montreal. And uh, so the oil from, the, from those uh, candles uh, were um, used and he, he would actually uh, rub people's wounds with the St. Joseph oil. So I think the devotion started with Brother Ron Rafe, I believe uh, mm -hmm. it's possible it, it existed before. You know, there's, a, there's so many miracles that happen and you know, um, and uh, you know, some of them, you have to be careful, I understand. Um, one of the places that I went to in Michigan, it was on, uh, a, a visionary um, that was under her, the guide of the bishop, um, a Chaldean Catholic. And there was a, um, images of Our Lady that uh, exuded oil, but also there was uh, um, a St. Joseph as well. The, the image of St. Joseph also ex exuded oil. Yeah, but that that would be a little a, a little different. And what they did is all the oil uh, got, came to the same place. So I, I have some of that oil as well. Um, but that's not the same as the St. Joseph oil of uh, Montreal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's see, what about the oils that come through the mail? You mean that, that like a, a religious organization will send you like they send little trinkets that have you you've gotten oil like that before louise yes yeah i've never gotten any of that i think usually uh because i know that uh, like the shrine even in divine mercy they have uh, saint Faustina oil that they give out i know that there's other shrines that have other oils that uh, are distributed those are uh, they're blessed they're probably put in in front of the a statue of the saint, I'm assuming. Um, they're not, um, for the most part, most of those oils are uh, um, for, for private devotion. Um, yeah, so it's, it's similar to, because to, there's also St. Anne's oil at the uh, St. Anne shrine in Quebec. They have St. Anne's shrine oil and it's a, a similar pr procedure and you know you have uh, the, the the oil of saint uh, saint uh, raphael oil which is very powerful you know and people fast and they pray uh, when they're making the oil of saint, uh, of saint raphael and it's uh, and saint raphael is the angel of um uh, is uh, is the is the angel of healing I hope that answers the question. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, the Marians, uh, we had uh, for a while, they did St. Faustino oil and they would bless right. it, go through a similar process and it would all, it was all uh, touched to her relic, uh, right. first yeah. class relic. And, and we got reports. There were several people that had some really significant uh, well, yeah, it's and the prayers faith. answered. It's the yeah, it's the faith. Faith. Mm -hmm. All right. One more question from Peg. Explain the seven decade rosaries. I may have been mistaken. I heard of an extra decade for Jesus's teachings, but not seven. So he'll repeat the seven decades. Yeah. Well, uh, the seven joys and seven sorrows, right? And it's based on the, on the, uh, they're all biblical. It's, it's, uh, they're all in the Bible. So the, 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 the first one is the uh, pregnancy of the Virgin Mary. And um, so it's, if you recall, you know, he, the angel appeared to him saying, you know, to keep, uh, uh, you know, to, to keep our, our lady as his wife, but he was troubled by the, you know, the pregnancy of, of when he heard that she was with child. So that's number one. Uh, the second one is the uh, birth of, of Jesus. So that's one that we're familiar with. Uh, the third one is the circumcision. So, uh, you know, the uh, pious belief is that St. Joseph himself would have circumcised 
or he would have been present for sure. And the blood of Christ, um, he probably touched the blood of Christ at that moment. You know, he was touched by the blood of Christ. You know, th those are meditations that you could have when you pray uh, the uh, chaplet of St. Joseph. Um, then you have uh, the, the prophecy of Simeon, which is also the presentation of Jesus in the temple. And then the, the, um, the fifth one is the flight into Egypt. Okay. The, the second one was also he received the dream at the return from Egypt. So he received the, the dream that to go back and that it's safe to, to go back because uh, Herod had passed away. So these are beautiful, you know, meditations and they're biblical too. And then the finding of Jesus in the temple, which is the, the last mystery of, uh, of uh, the joyful mysteries. So those, uh, I hope that answers the question. And it's the, instead of the Hail Mary, it's the Hail Joseph. And it takes a little bit of time, uh, mm -hmm. but I love the prayer. I know that when I pray, uh, the, the, there's so many lights that come to me uh, when I pray the chaplet of, uh, you know, that's why I could, you know, there's things that I, I, I would say that people say, well, where did you get that? Well, it's meditating on the mm. joys and sorrows of St. Joseph. Beautiful. Gosh, Eve's great. Yeah, All right, uh, Celeste, I said one more question. All right. Have you heard of the St. Joseph rosary? Is um, that different than the chaplet? Well, there's a there's a few of them. The one that 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 I have is uh, is the one that has this, the Hail Joseph in it. Uh, my mom, uh, you know, so to talk about history with Saint Joseph. My mom, since I was a child, we we said the chaplet of Saint Joseph at home, but it was very short. It was it was a, a seven sets of seven, and uh, it was um, a, and the invocation was Saint Joseph Pillar of Families Pray for us. And we would re repeat that uh, seven times. Uh, and then we would say that your name be honored or blessed St. Joseph now and forever. That would be our, like, be our father, the, the separate. So that was a very short, uh, it took very little time to say that. But I, I remember saying that uh, at, at home uh, with my mom. And my mom would make chaplets of St. Joseph. So it's, uh, you know, good St. Joseph. He's been with us for a long time. You know, and he, he has more to give us. Oh, my gosh. Powerful. St. Joseph, pillar of families, pray for us. Is that what you said? Yes, yes. If, if, if somebody, you know, uh, wants it, I could probably compose it to them. Uh, I don't have it because um, I've been saying that this one, but my mom, I, it, you know, I know it's easy. And it's a, like, it's like Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Jesus, uh, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Uh, these are invocations that are said before or after uh, the chaplet of St. Joseph. Well, I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, you get a chance, yeah, type it up clear. and send it to me, and then I can make it available for everybody. Yeah, yeah, well, because it's, it's much shorter than the, the, the long uh, right. uh, meditation. And it's powerful because, you know, that is the problem in our society. It's, it's the, the family is being destroyed. And... Uh, Tell you the truth, uh, without the help of St. Joseph, we're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. We're in big trouble. We, you know, they are, are to the point that uh, uh, having a family or living the faith will be a crime. You know, this is where we're going right now. You know, uh, well, when they're going after, yeah. when they're going after Trump because of the things that he's doing, they're really going after you and I uh, in the family, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, Trump is just, uh, you know, he's just uh, symbolizing things that a lot of the things that we believe in in the family and not completely. We have more, but they're, they're attacking the family. You know, transgenderism is going to be a sacrament, you know, and if you oppose that, they're going to cancel you out. You know, but Pope Benedict said that he says there's two things that, uh, will excommunicate you from the from society is uh, is uh, your opposition to abortion and and your opposition to gay marriage. They'll cancel you out. So I mean, this is why we need Saint Joseph uh, today. You know, yes. we need to strengthen the family. Mm -hmm. Very well put. Yes. Right. Yes.
Well, we really, really Saint appreciate Joseph's you um, coming on with us. And Joan, could well, you? It's a pleasure. Please? Yes. Well, I know I'm in good company because you are um, truly a prayer warriors. And uh, we would need, um, you know, we would need a million people listening to this. Yes. I know. Uh, because uh, it's a small army right now. Yeah. But it's a small army here, but we have a, uh, we have uh, billions and billions of uh, angels and, and we have the assistance of all the saints. We're in good company. Yes. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I think that's why the Lord told St. Faustina, yes. pray the litany of the saints to remind us, you know, we're not alone and there's millions of them. So, yeah. um, and that's the trust, you know, we don't despair in our hearts. We, we, you know, just keep our head down and and pray well we knew there was going to be a remnant we were told there'd be a remnant and in faustina's diary too i've said this before she says the lord says you know or she writes if it hadn't been for the prayers of souls that are pleasing to god you know so that's what our job is to do to pray for all of those that have been duped and are out there yep so with that thank you what a beautiful way uh, for us to end this novena um, I want to remind all of you that uh, we're going to be uh, back, of course, on October 1st. In October, we will not uh, have guest speakers. We're going to take a break from that just because our schedule and we're going to be on the road. And But we will be continuing with the novena. Please join us. The prayers are the most important part. Um, then also uh, on when next Wednesday which is the 14th, the exaltation of the Holy Cross. It is the anniversary of the Chaplet of Mercy. It is the 87th anniversary. I think chaplet. so. And so we're going to have another special prayer meeting. Um, well, we'll be sending an email out, but same time, same station. We'll open the Zoom room up at um, 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central, and so on and so forth. We're going to share a little bit about the history of the chaplet, of course, the promises and all that. And we'll just be praying the chaplet of mercy. So it won't be uh, very, very long. But um, let me just see if there's anything else. We lift up all the people, uh, uh, the prayer intentions. Oh, my gosh. So much pain and so much suffering out there. We unite it all to Jesus on the Holy Cross. We give it all to the three hearts, to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, to embrace these prayer intentions with love and to hear our prayers and answer our prayers. I had a thought just this one time we were talking about uh, Joseph um, maybe being assumed into heaven and all that, but I thought I never thought about it before. Like you're saying, I bet she really missed him, the blessed mother. You know, after he passed away, of course she had Jesus, but he was out, you know, with his friends and traipsing the countrysides and all of that. But I bet. They both, I'm, I'm sure, dearly, dearly missed having him around. And um, so enjoy your families and your loved ones, everyone, while we're here and each other. And um, continue to pray for each other till we meet again and eaves off. We're going to have to have you back maybe in November again. Oh. You always have so much okay. to share. Well, you know my number. <laughs> I know. And I'm going to be calling you to get some of these materials. Maybe we'll put some on our website to make it easy for everybody, too. So. Okay. Y'all okay. go to, it is a uh, hearts of the holy And let's see, Gloria said there's another three hearts.com has it also. So if you have a problem, just contact us or give us a call and we'll make sure you guys get what you need to have. Anything okay. else? That's Any it. chance Eve's has St. Michael's oil on hand. St. <laughs> Michael's oil. That I, uh, I only have the stone of St. Michael from Gargano, uh, but I don't have the oil. No, no oil. Maybe tap on it or something. Knowing you, it'll start to use. <laughs> we'll have to have a prayer, a prayer team to make some. There you go. <laughs> we love you, Eve. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you all and right. your beautiful family. And we love all of you. God bless you all. Hope to see you all Wednesday. Join us on Wednesday if you can. Eve's come back. You don't have okay, to yeah, join us anytime. Yeah. All right. God bless all right. you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank God bless you. you. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you. Love Bye. you. Love you. David, Joe. Yes. I have this book that I, uh, I've had. It's got the... Uh, St. Joseph Chaplet and the St. Joseph Rosary. And uh, 
uh, other rosaries and chaplets. <clears throat> oh, Michael. Okay. And it's Oops. called the My Treasury of Chaplets by Patricia S. Quintiliana. 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 The Treasury of my treasury of chaplets. You know, I was going to ask you, is the other day you mentioned how you pray all these different rosaries. And I thought, ah, yeah. those are, those sound so beautiful. What great prayer time. So is that where you yeah. got it? Well, that's one of them. But I also have this, pray your own mysteries. Your own mysteries. Okay. Praying your life through the, Okay. Thank you, Michael. So it's, they're, all, they're all beautiful. You, you don't have to give up uh, praying the rosary because you're tired of saying the same ones. Oh, there's so many. So many. Right. It, I, it's all really about meditating, right? Anyway, and just going through as much as we can, connecting ourselves with heaven. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that. We'll take a look into them. Okay. Yeah, okay. See you Wednesday. Thank you. Okay, wow. everybody, signing off for now. God bless you. Love you all. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Lauren, stay cool. I.